Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy X Cover 4S, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So, as you can see, uh, the device in front of me is already locked, and I can either unlock it with a pattern or the normal account. I try to remember the pattern here. Um, I will change that to something else later on. Uh, that will be basically the way we're gonna bypass this. So, at the moment, there is a pattern, or as you can see, there's also the uh, the account so let's go back to the Wi-Fi connection right here and uh, before we get started um, I will mention that uh, this might take a couple of tries uh, attempts and if you for instance fail um, at the start you'll get this kind of like infinite loading uh, you will see what I mean in a second probably uh, but if if that will be the case for you uh, what you want to do is then just hold the power key and select restart and retry it and okay. so now that we're connected to Wi-Fi you need to have Wi-Fi because we need the next button what you will do is press turn off Wi-Fi and uh, next almost at the same time the turn off Wi-Fi must be slightly bit earlier than next um, so now we'll repeat this couple times um, Basically, it goes back, right, we tap again next, next, go back to Wi-Fi, I'm gonna turn it on and repeat this. And after like three three attempts like that, the, uh, basically the app will crash. So, let's try it, continue on. Again, that's the second time, turn on again Wi-Fi, and let's try that again. Uh, this time I actually pressed next too quick, so it progressed further. So let's try that once more. Oops, damn it. Go. There we go. So th this is the loading thing, and there we go. Uh, the loading that you just seen. So if that doesn't like uh, stop at one point, um, then you will just need to reboot the device. Uh, and it means that you're pressing the next uh, button too uh, too late. Even though it's still there and it reacts, it just bugs out in a different way. So you need to hit it a little bit earlier. Um, and once it works, you should see this thing right here. So tap on app info. Once you get to it, scroll down to permissions and then tap on the search bar up here and type in Google. And from, oh, well, you can see that there's a plethora of choices that it found with Google. Uh, but we're basically wanting to go almost all the way down. So as you can see, the bar is right here. And you have the app info Google. Tap on that. It opens up this page right here. And you want to just simply tap on the open button. And this will open up the Google, uh, Google app. So in the search bar, you want to type in settings. Just, there we go. So there we go, settings, uh, it's basically the app uh, on our device. The settings, you wanna tap on it, and it takes us to the settings. And from here, I'm gonna scroll down to security, right here. Tap on other security settings. Scroll down to pin window, enable that. Tap on it, and enable this thing right here. And here you can see protect your phone, and we have a couple different choices of of protecting it so as you've seen before the uh, verification uh, for the account was pattern so just to keep it different i'm gonna set a pin now and simply type in the pin continue retype the same pin once more and we're basically set so hold power key restart restart Let's wait for the device to power back on. And once it has, when we get back to the verification, you'll see now that we can verify it with a pen instead of a pattern. And the pen will be the one that we have literally just chosen. Um, but once you get past this, you still want to perform a reset of the device through settings. So 
keep that in mind, otherwise the device will not be fully unlocked. So let's unlock it. Um, okay, so there's the pen. Let's put that in. I think we might need to put the pen once more. Or not. There we go. Uh, now the, the pen there was uh, because of the settings. We didn't really have a choice um, to change it. But the device by default uh, alters to uh, requiring a pen or any kind of protection before it fully boots up. So that's why there was a pen. So let's tap next. Okay, we want to turn that on. And this time we want to just go normally as we would do that well, in a normal circumstances. And there we go. So previously there was a pattern for verification. Now it's a pen and it's the pen that we have set. So let's just type that in, tap next. And you can see sign in, we don't care. Let's just tap on skip, skip. More and accept. And like I said, once we, once we get access to the home screen, you want to go into the settings and just reset the device. So as you can see, we're now on the home screen. So let's go into the settings. Scroll all the way down to, what is it? Advanced features. Scroll down to, oh, it looks like it's not in here. So let me just go back. Okay, it, I think it's in general management, my bad. So it's right here in the settings, general management, reset, and then factory data reset right here. And you can see uh, it provides you with the listings that we will remove. And one of the key parts that we'll remove is the Google account. So step on reset. And again, we need to confirm with the pen that we have set. Tap on next, delete all, and all the process will begin. Now this device is gonna take a while, but once it's finished, we should be then greeted with the Android setup screen again. And at that point, the device will be fully unlocked. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished and you can now set up your device as however you like and it will be unlocked. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.